This book was illustrated in black and white. They didn't use any colors. They just used pencil. So the cat came back, and it was illustrated by kids that they were in third grade when they drew the pictures, and now they're in eighth grade. And one of the pictures was drawn by my son. Is that the one that was drawn by Nope, yourself? this one's by Audrey Priestley. The Cat Came Back, illustrated by the 2015-2016 third grade. And there was at one page that was extra. It's by Bo. And it's got a cat getting flung out of a cannon <laughs> over top of the house. Cool. Yeah. No, the cat could have got her. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I said this isn't this isn't for real. It's only jokes. We would never actually do this to any cat. No, you better. And Bo wouldn't, because Bo likes animals. He has a great big dog. He lives here in Bob Rose. Amalia, hush. Yes, Brooklyn. I Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. You know Mr. Johnson? <laughs> he had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave his home. He tried and he tried to chase that cat away. He gave it to a man who was going to Bombay. So he packed the cat into a box. And he gave it to a man that was going to another country. Really? I wonder if there's a page in here by Noah or Noel. Because they're in that class. Cool. But the cat came back the very next day. He was sitting on the porch the very next day. The cat came back. He didn't want to roam. We thought he was a goner, but he was home sweet home. <laughs> There's the house with the porch and the cat sitting there. Shouldn't we be doing Valentine's He gave it to a man who was heading way out west. He told him to give the cat to someone he liked the best. They got onto a train. First the train hit the curb, then it jumped the rail. Not a soul was left behind to tell the gruesome tale. <gasps> Meow! The cat's driving the train. <laughs> came back. He wouldn't stay away. He was sitting on the porch the very next day. The cat came back. He didn't want to roam. We thought he was a goner, but it, he was home sweet home. What? what? And that one's my son's. That's my son's writing. And that cat actually looks like his cat who has stripes. What? Why is it his name right there? His name is right here. Because that one's by somebody else. Well, who was it by? It doesn't have a name. Don't I think know. it does on the other side, though. Oh, no. Elizabeth Nelson. Oh. She oh. lives out in Pine River. Pine River. This one's by James, too. There's the cat sitting on the porch. Well, the person sitting on the porch. And the cat's about to fall off the roof onto him. Yeah. <laughs> With the clutch. <laughs> My dad actually got caught in the head by a cat before. And this one's Ellie Rangel. Oh, the cat's got a super long tail. This is a tall tail, by the way, too. I thought that come out of his butt. A lot of, a lot of American folk songs are also tall tails. <laughs> if it has a long tail, it's called Persian. That's what it's called. I have a And this one's Ellie Rangel. <laughs> he threw the cat into a kennel. Full of large and angry dogs. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, that's gonna be the ground was strewn with cat bones. Uh -oh. They were piled up like logs. Uh -oh. <laughs> the dogs did howl if they thrust about and one 
flew, one flew clear outside. So did the cat win. The air was full of yelps and fur. There was no place for that poor cat to hide. Mm. Oh, no, Just roar! Yep! Roar! Roar! Meow! Roar! 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 But the cat came yeah. back. The very next day, he was sitting on the porch. He just wouldn't go away. The cat came back. The very next day, we thought he was a goner, but he was home, sweet home. Come on! Oh, boom! You need to go back in the cannon. <laughs> boom! Boom! The cat came back. Meow. Meow. Away across the ocean, he sent the cat at last. The great ship was all alone, and it started taking on water fast. People all began to pray. Please, please, oh no. The boat began to toss. Great big gusts of wind came up. Every soul was lost. But the cat came back. The very next day, he was sitting on the porch. He just wouldn't go away. This one's by Charlie, his sister Abigail's in first grade. It says, meow. Oh, come on. <laughs> the cat came back. He didn't want to roam. The very next day, he was home sweet home. And that cat says, I'm back. The world. This one doesn't have a name. What does on that side is by Elizabeth on that side. Oh my goodness! He drove into the desert where the UFO was seen. The sky was unidentified flying objects for aliens. The sky was full of crazy clouds of purple, blue, and green. A giant spacecraft landed. And some creatures floated down. They grabbed the cat and went aloft. And they left without a sound. The very next day, he was home, sweet home. Oh, yeah! Oh, you should be home with your daddy. Yes, the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. He didn't want to. He very wanted to stay. The cat came back. He didn't want to roam. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back home. Don't come back, you monster cat! This one's by Olivia Jones. So this is by Levi's sister, Olivia. Levi's sister. This is Levi's sister, Olivia, that drew this one, and this one. Levi Jones. That's what I thought. Levi. Meow. This one's by. Callie, Xander's sister. Oh, 
And this the cat came back. Meow. What else could I do to him? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That cat came back. Oh no. It makes me so sad. The cat came back. Curse you, cat! The cat came back. The cat came back. The cat came back. And this is what the music looks like. But you've already seen the music because you have it in your book. That's what the music looks like. And now I'm going to ask 